Joining us now is famed hairstylist Vera Koval, and we're going to be talking about her hairstyles for brides. Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you, Donna. Thank you so much for inviting me. It's so you great. grew up in Russia, yes. a country where, where when I grew up in, uh, you know, the middle, you know, the United States, it was all about, you know, the USSR and things mm -hmm. have changed a lot. Yes. And your country is going through a lot. But when yes. did you come over from Russia? So I came over in 2000. It okay, so you've been here 20 years. Yes, it okay. seems like a couple years ago, but it's been a while. Okay, so you feel, do you feel more like Americanized now, kind of? I would say so. Yeah? It's like by birth, I have two, um, two lands, right? So it was like one land by birth, of course, Russia, and now America is my home too. So sometimes I feel like I'm torn between two homes. <laughs> I am the same way, but mine's like the Midwest. So I'm mm. like St. Louis to New York, right? Oh, so I still love all the food from St. Louis. I miss it. I like to go mm. home to visit. I like yes. to swing on the swings where I grew up. Um, but now I'm definitely more like a New Yorker, mm -hmm. Long Islander kind of person. Yeah. So I get that. Yeah. Um, you have brought your style, your artistry, mm. your techniques to people's hair. Yes. And that's what you do. I love doing this. You yes. do. Yes. So you brought um, a couple of models today. Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to um, have one of them come out and you're just going to tell us about the bridal style that you created for them. Sure. Okay. okay. So who's our first, our first model? So I would love to show the glam look. Okay. Uh, something that is being quite requested lately among our brides. And so I would love to, to display that look. Okay. You. Let's look at the glam bride look. Sure. Right this way. So now glam, when you think of glam, mm -hmm. uh, what is it that creates glam? Is it the soft curl? curl? Is it the... Right. So there is a smoothness. There is, uh, it can be curls uh, incorporated into that look, but they're a bit of deflated. There is, it's not a minimal, minimalistic look, but on the opposite, it's the show off. It's the showstopper look. Usually the ladies that love that uh, princessy, the ball gowns, yes. <laughs> um, lots of, um, lots of um, I don't know, glitter, you know, lots of uh, accessories, they go for that. And you want the hair to match the dress. Exactly. And so a friend exactly. of yours, also in the bridal industry, said, yes. well, hey, I work with bridal gowns, and you could have yes. your models in the gowns. Yes. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. um, and what is the second look that we're talking about today? The second look, I was thinking about what can I show um, um, my people, uh, what can I show and display? Yes. Completely opposite. So it's minimalistic look. Okay. It's for the bride that likes um, everything smooth, also and sleek, but it's very much of minimum lines, a minimum of um, everything. It's uh, it's classic. Yes. This is more towards um, girls that like the clean um, swept away hair. Yeah, swept away hair. Yeah. Okay. And we paired it with a dress that kind of echoes the style of uh, her hair. It's very much minimalistic. I I love that. Straight line. So which came first, the hair or the dress? The dress or the hair? I think that's it's so fun. It's a good fun. question. I know. Okay. It all comes together. It does all come together. So from top to bottom, from fingertip to fingertip, it's all about that presentation, yes. all about that look. Yes. What do you suggest when somebody, do you suggest that they come to you ahead of time for like a bridal trial for their hair? Yes. I strongly suggest to see my girls definitely before the big day because that's the important time of connecting to, with each other, knowing each other. And for me, actually getting my fingers into their hair. So I would see what type of hair the girl has, how it agrees to what we want to do. So it's very important time, that practical session. To it's make it look like yep. their mm -hmm. best. Now, very you much. yourself, who did your hair for your big celebration? Are you single? Are you married? I'm you, married. You're married? Um, okay. I'm married. And interestingly, um, I at the time, I used to live in Virginia. And a sweet girl who I worked with at the salon, I asked her to do my hair, and she did. I thought she did wonderful work. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's probably yeah. the, the biggest critic, you know, yes. for someone that's like when when it's your special mm -hmm. day, right? Who's gonna do yes, your hair, yes. your makeup, where are you mm -hmm. getting your dress? Right. So, and why bridal? Mm -hmm. Why did you decide that that would be your specialty, Vera? 
You know, uh, I've been cosmetologist since 1997, so it's been many years. Uh, and I have worked in different salons and I owned my place at one point. And I always was gravitated towards artistic side of it. I mean, I was uh, pretty good at cutting and coloring, but every time we would have like opportunity to do special occasion hair, I would be in the first line. <laughs> um, so that artist in me, I guess was asking to come out. And when I moved to New York, it was in 2016, I'm like, you know what? I think it's time for me to dive into the um, bridal industry 100%. And I did, and I'm not looking back, I love it. Vera, I thank you yeah. so much sincerely for being yeah. here. Your, your looks are beautiful. Thank you, thank you for sending us thank a lot so of pictures much. also so that we could see all your artistry. Yeah, but continued success pleasure. to you. Thank you so much. So Vera Koval. There you go. If you're looking for a special do, an updo, you know, or wear your hair down, whatever it is, she's the girl. Be well.